The journey towards gender equality is most certainly a bumpy road, requiring the most robust 4x4 to navigate it. However, every few miles we see smooth roads ahead, and it seems that perhaps change may be on the horizon. Whether that's women's suffrage, legalisation of abortion, or women being allowed to enter professions and institutions that were once close to us. But just when we think the smooth road may last for the whole of the journey, we encounter a massive pothole, such as the election of the misogynist-in-chief, lack of equal pay, or the Wireless Festival lineup. <laughs> Earlier this year, the famed festival revealed its acts, and only three out of the 37 were women. In response to the social media backlash, an all female stage was introduced. As nice a gesture as this is, it doesn't solve the bigger issue of the lack of female festival programmers. Last year, 80% of festival headliners were male and women made up a mere 26% of UK festival performers. The only way to change this is to bring more women to the table, and in doing so, get more women on stage. This was a revelation to me, <laughs> really? June, and I am... I, I, the panel may be surprised to hear this. I am the rock critic for the oldie magazine. <laughs> uh, really? And actually, this really made me think. It's the, I, <laughs> <laughs> the status quo is the red carpet again. And I suddenly thought, what, who have I been to see? Paul Simon. Yeah. Last yeah. weekend in Hyde Park. Brilliant. I heard that was great. Dave Gilmore. Mm. Van Morrison. Mm. And that, they're all, well, I oh, went they're to all see, men, I went probably to see, white men, over the age of I 70. I went to see Bjork. Yeah. I went to see Bjork in Hackney. Oh, well done. It was amazing. You and, young and, groover. Well, and, right, and, and so I'm very surprised. It was <laughs> London Fields. I'm very surprised. Or was it Victoria Park? Yeah, Victoria Park, all, all points east. I didn't realise this. Yeah. So like you, as a, as a revelation, I like to think of myself a bit in touch. But can we apply you know? the whole gender gap, pay gap argument to no. something like rock and pop? No, I don't think we have to. Okay. Mm. I mean, sure, surely the acts... I mean, I, I, lo I love you to, to, you know this, and I love the yeah. fact that you're trying to bring in gender equality into... into <laughs> it's a man's, man's, I love it, man's I love it. World. But, but show the acts that appear... I blame it on Brexit. ...are the ones... <laughs> it's got to be Brexit. Actually, oh, yeah. I, I blame it on the Prosecco. You <laughs> just Surely the acts that are booked are the ones that people are talking about, listening to, reading about. And, and you, know, you, you, you can't make people put an act into a festival if they don't want to see it. You can't just say, she's got to be in there because she's yeah, a woman. Having said well, that, wait, can I just point out something? On the same stage in one festival, mm. the male band was paid ten times what the female okay, band okay. on but the mm. same stage at the same festival. But just to paid. follow through on that point, yeah. only... <laughs> this made me laugh. <laughs> only three solo women have won the Mercury Prize in 22 years. Now, them. maybe that's Bjork. because they're not good enough no, to win no, the no, Let's no, 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 come no, on. No, no, Speaking I say of that, weren't you in a rock band for many years? It was a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a bit of a band, yeah. It was, it was a long time ago. Do we have so a picture of that? Uh, you say no, they we weren't don't. good because I wasn't no, any good. No, that was so but so you but may I say, defending women from but, but your As the is, minority so male on this table... Go on. Let me speak in defence of women. You can't yeah. speak at all as being the minority <laughs> male on this table. Right, so I, no, I, I have every sympathy for the economic arguments made, usually. Mm. In this instance, though, I, I think back to the film like, say, films like Black Panther, Marvel's Black Panther. A lot of people in Hollywood said there was no market for a film like for that. Precisely. Then they made it and, and, and it was. smashed if you all build box it, of it. They will right. come. Yeah. I went to see Bjork as a female and she was the headliner of the All Points East uh, Festival. Was she good? It was amazing. And so the point is that I think... I think should have gone. When you, so I don't believe yeah, in quotas. Falling down on the job. Hold on, hold on. I don't believe in quotas. I do believe in equality of opportunity yeah, as opposed to equality of outcome. Yeah. And I think music. what I'm hearing you say, June... Yeah. Though we, I know we disagree on quotas, but yes. all, what, what I'm hearing you say there, in mm. what you just said, was if we create those opportunities... Yeah, it's like investing in tennis. Yeah. And, and, and also... Young, and yeah. Music yeah. is subjective. You can't legislate no, for people's tastes. It's not about yeah. legislating. The problem is what you have is a lot of the people that put on festivals yep. and the They're ones blokes. that are pro are blokes. blokes. Yeah, no, and no. actually, I if you had that. more women in those yeah. positions, they just would book more and women. Yeah. Blokes yeah. who book yeah. blokes who need to pay last year's tax bill. No, just, <laughs> no, no, no. They're blokes Michelle. who book yeah. blokes because they know that's how they're going to make the Before money. Before we go to Michelle, sorry, there is this chap, Melvin Ben, director of Festival Republic. <laughs> he said, we'd love to see more female acts on the festival roster in the future. However, he says, there is a bigger industry issue at the heart of the debate on lineup diversity with fewer female acts available at all. Can we see Lily Allen's tweet, actually? 
actually oh, in response fabulous. to this very issue where let's have it up on screen and i'll explain it this is the wireless <laughs> poster she blanked out all the names of the male artists appearing over three days and it left only three <laughs> women it's a fantastic tweet in the festival it is brilliant is it michelle <sighs> give you, and then i'll bring I in I a quote i want to go to a festival i just want to go listen to the bands that i yeah. like playing I the songs you know yeah, but I couldn't care exactly. less if they're man, woman, mixed. Mm. I don't really care. If I like your music, then I want to go see you. And I, I just think it's a little bit... But there are lots of female artists that should have been booked that But I weren't. think it's a little bit patronising to say if there's a woman on the board, they would therefore book more female artists. I find that quite... They, no, I they find book that the not make it money, June. It's not patronising. I tell you what. Why if would they'll... you assume if there was a female on the board, yes, would. she would book female Yes, she would. People. OK, when you go into any kind of uh, meeting or business room or, or whatever I'm sure it, it's not going to impact the way that you perform but I'm sure you notice that there aren't that many working class people in the room if you're one of the only ones in there well I Same way that, and I'm pretty much always the only precisely girl. you're aware of it mm. so my point mm. is it wouldn't have even occurred to those men that hang on a minute we've got 37 That's artists but, but there's only three little women so, do you so I'm not blaming them I'm just saying if you actually so tell have me, tell me women three, in the room, it won't three happen which three female artists do you think they are exceptional that we're missing? From the wireless? Yeah. Oh, oh! Bjork wasn't there. Well, uh, Bjork, Dua Lipa, um, oh, Mabel. Yeah. There's so many. So so many. I don't you know, let me tell you, I Missy don't know Elliot, who... Put her on. Yes. I don't yeah. know yeah. Bjork. Yeah. I don't yeah. know the I know Bjork. Jess Glynn is the biggest selling artist of the and last yeah. five years. Yeah. 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 I went to a, um, a place the other day and I asked them what they was getting ready for and she said that the lady said, oh, we've got Mabel playing tonight. She's I went huge. And I went, oh, awesome. I went upstairs and I went, who's Mabel? Might be a generation thing, I think, I'll Might give you a historically, thing. I think there was a lack of opportunity for Were you women. really in a band? Oh, yeah, she was. Oh, please. There was a lack funny. of opportunity for women to get we into play that. A clip. Yeah. And, 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 and I, but I think that doesn't exist anymore. No, but then, <clears throat> But and I think the media doesn't help because we refer to girl bands yes. and yeah, girl singers. Yeah. So we're not helping. Yeah. What did you well sing? I used to sing. Like I was, little, I was, I was in a band, I was in a band a long time ago. In fact, I sang in the same group of people with Sting was playing guitar. We used wow. to, we used it to, was to, a little it example. It was a serious thing. It was a sample of wow. one of your I'm songs. Not, wait, absolutely. Was your guitar? He wasn't my guitarist. He, we, we used to sing and play in a thing called the Newcastle Big Band. Um, and, uh, and every Sunday morning we'd all gather and we'd sing songs. Do you know Jimmy now? Um, I do know Jimmy Nellis, oh. oh. um, and I know all everyone. Brian Ferry was was around at the time as well. Got me that, Carol. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's how old. That's how yeah. old I am. Okay, monitors, look yeah. at where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Carol, where are you? Yeah. Carol, yeah. Carol yeah. Us yeah. Us <laughs> <time>. <laughs> 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 but, but you know, I remember years and years ago, I had to go and interview Sting after he got famous, and before he oh. left to go to the bright lights, you know. Said, you know, you'll be back and, and you know, you'll be back shortly and with the tear between us. Well, he was back six months later with a number one hit. And I, <laughs> I was told to go and interview him, which was actually a bit hard. How <laughs> are the mighty fallen? Yes. Well, all risen, actually. Yeah. She's on the pledge now. Exactly.